Uh, joined her now by uh, Dan Shannon, captain of Fiddler's Creek and then the Scanlon manager. And lads, uh, a long season towards the end, but you must be delighted. Division 1 champions. Can I don't speak to on that one. Yeah, we're delighted. Uh, great competition. Uh, it started out pretty tight. Uh, we played two rounds. Still very tight. Coming into the last few games, the boys really hit form. We scored plenty of goals. The defence held up. We didn't give away, didn't give away too many goals. Raju was right to train extremely hard throughout the week. Uh, we got a dietitian in, in all fairness. We had an, an issue with a few of the boys. Uh, uh, one or two. There is one or two. We had a few. We had, we had an issue Breach with a few. Discipline. But it, Breach it, discipline. You can, you can see it pays off. And uh, thank God you can see Glenn there now. He's lost a couple of pounds. And looks great. Rossi's back. I think that was more to a punch his boys, though, wasn't it? Well, yeah. yeah. Fergal, in all fairness to him, uh, done a special sheet for us and the boys stuck by it and it's paid off. So I'd like to congratulate the boys on the dedication. No, I think that definitely you're wrong. Glenn, the game tonight, actually, the PSO started off the better, you'd have to say, maybe the first five minutes. Until he scored the, the league goal, like they were well in it. Virtually well, yeah. We probably, one or two were grown from myself, probably didn't help matters with the team. Good, but that's just me, that's the way I am. I'm not going to change, as I said out during my speech. Um, we've had a long season, long weekend. There was actually three or four of us in Liverpool over with talks with Paul Cook. But then they managed to sway us back. So we're here tonight. Well, it was a long haul. There's a lot of rumours linking Paul with the Sligo plumbing and heating job. Now that it is vacant, they'll return to Sligo. But that's 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 for another day, I think. Like. Things yeah, keep yeah. going the way they are in Accrington. He'd be back here looking for his job, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I know on a serious note, you know, as I said, PSO did start off well tonight, and probably maybe sneaked, could have sneaked one, but they didn't. We held up, and I think a wee bit of class shown through in the end on our team, and a bit of experience maybe. So. I think, I think as well, lads, it probably makes it, I know it dragged on a bit towards it, makes it worthwhile is it's a tough league to win in, as you touched on, like the Riverstown and Gannon McNamara push you all the way, and some of the games were very, very intense. Oh, absolutely, I mean, from the start of the season, I mean, the results improved, PSO beat Gannon McNamara, they beat Riverstown, two fantastic sides, and PSO probably lost one or two, didn't have a big squad, I would yeah. think, and I think they lost one or two key players, and kind of affected it, but then, you know, I, I thought Abbott's were excellent, I thought Abbott's had a great football in sight, they knocked the ball around. Sligo Ethan Plumman, you know, only for the I, I felt they had no goal score. That was their biggest problem. They have a quality squad, but just couldn't have they nobody yeah. put the ball in the back of the net. You know, and that was the difference. We uh, I think if you look at the, the leading goal scorers, I think we have three or four up there at the top. And that's what made the difference in the end. So now league Titans secured, now you have a chance to uh, go on and win the All Ireland title to kick it on the Waterford champions in a couple of weeks and that's going to be an extra incentive. And again, though I know that'll present you with a tough task to keep these boys on a tight leash. Uh, especially when they're let across the border uh, you know, on the yeah. other side of Shannon. Yeah, it, it will. I think uh, I'll have to sit down uh, with uh, Ian Bartloff and see how he addresses the senior yeah. squad because I think I'll have to tie the boys down alright because I'll let them loose at all. It's a for city. There's strong rumours going around that at this moment in time, Fargo Parson is smiling. Can you confirm it or not that the boys won the league? That he has broken into a smile? I doubt. I doubt. I doubt. I doubt. And safely say, say, lads, if you head to Fiddlers tomorrow, no. I'm sure the pub is going to be painted blue. Because he told fan, me yeah. today, he's a Chelsea yeah. fan, he said, Shannon, come down tomorrow and see the pub is going to be painted blue. So it's the first time you were sucking face with her. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, thanks for much, lads. And sure, all the best. Great thanks, season. Buddy. Deserving champions. And uh, all the best in the All Ireland final. Thanks, thanks so much,